launch of the Dano new Ford Explorer. At one point during the event, Ford let us sample a Jeep Grand Cherokee, ostensibly so that we gathered scribes could gauge how much better the Explorer was than its competition. I'll never forget my driving partner, Pulitzer Prize winner in Wall Street Journal scribe Dan Neal, turning to me, a look of mischief in his eyes, and one of us saying, Boy, that Jeep's pretty damn good, huh? In other words, Ford's Gambit was, as the kids say, a total fail. Dan and I actually ditched the event early and hit up a local casino to play some Texas Hold'em. I won $100 if memory serves. Dan fared less well. As you might imagine on the launch of the all-new 2018 Ford Expedition, I was racked with deja vu hopping into a Chevrolet Suburban hitched up to a 5,500-pound horse trailer. Was Ford about to make the same mistake again? Back to Americans for a second. XL and double XL SUVs such as the Expedition really and truly are a red, white, and blue phenomenon. They don't make much sense to the rest of the world, primarily because the roads are too narrow, parking is too tight, and gas is expensive. Here, giant highways, ample parking, and, adjusted for inflation, gasoline costs as much as coffee filters. Judging by what I spend at Starbucks per week, gas is much, much cheaper than actual coffee. In much the same way that a smart fork won't make zero sense if you've never spent time desperately searching for parking in a packed European city, San Francisco, supersized SUVs seem absurd to the uninitiated, save for us Yanks and the Middle East. However, once you've spent time and big boy, you realize there really is no replacement for sheer scale. There's an elegance to them, a relaxed sort of inherent luxury, a joie de vivre Las Vegas, if you will. Just like the full-size truck, Mammoth SUVs are both a unique and wonderful American institution. A segment we should celebrate, especially when the vehicles are good. If you feel different, I'm sure what car. Has the Sco de Croc review you're looking for. The sheet metal is a huge improvement over the previous generation Expedition, which never had a modern metal to glass ratio.